Another random week, another new Pokemon trailer. Let's talk about it. There's a lot to discuss, so let's just jump straight in. It would be a shame if we didn't discuss the new Pokemon first, so let's do that. We got three more Pokemon from the most recently revealed trailer, and again, they all look amazing. Game Freak and Nintendo just can't miss with the designs for this generation. In fact, I was working on a video about how good the designs for this generation are when this trailer was announced. So this video that I'm filming now actually took priority over that one. Maybe you'll see it in the future. Anyways, the first Pokemon we get a good look at is the Stony Cliff Titan Cloth. Awesome design. Giant Rocky Crab who also happens to be a rock type. I love crab Pokemon. My favorites are Krabby and Kingler, but any crab Pokemon is good in my book. This looks like a Pokemon that will probably be a boss of the game, maybe similar to the noble Pokemons of Legends Arceus. And we also see many small cloth and then the one titanic cloth. This makes me wonder if we'll see more massive Pokemon like this regularly, or if these will be just the boss battles for this storyline. The other Pokemon we saw, but didn't get too much of a mention in the actual trailer, are two very, very cool looking Pokemon. Serulege and Armourouge. Both of these Pokemon remind me heavily of Mega Man from the Battle Network series, and also kind of like a very strong, high-level Digimon. Despite not being in the trailer for very long, we have gotten a lot of information for both Pokemon from the official Pokemon website. Serulege is a fire and ghost type and will probably be a physically attacking Pokemon from its description. Additionally, it has a new move, Bitter Blade. This is a physical fire type move that absorbs half of the damage or up to half of the damage that you deal to enemies. Second up is Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge is a fire and psychic type. Just looking at this Pokemon makes me think it will be more of a defensively focused Pokemon with some strong special attacks. Maybe more useful to stall with. It also has a new move, Armor Cannon, which sacrifices defense and special defense in exchange for a very powerful fire type move. Of the two, I definitely prefer Serulege. It's a much cooler design with a much cooler attack. I think personally, I will choose Serulege and I hope these are not version exclusive as I hope to buy Scarlet, but if Serulege is in Violet, I will change my mind and buy Violet. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have also introduced a very cool new mechanic. And this is a mechanic that I didn't even think about. Uh, I could not have even considered before watching this video. But now that I see it, I'm shocked we haven't gotten it before. Auto battling. The new feature is called Let's Go. And basically what it allows you to do is send your Pokemon out in a direction by itself. The Pokemon will run and explore in that direction and automatically pick up any items and battle with any other Pokemon it encounters along the way. You do not have to choose the moves of the Pokemon. It just does everything automatically. While they battle, you are free to run around and pick up other items, or just chill and watch the battle go down. From the sound of it, this sounds like a very, very great feature. And I think it would be even better if you could send out more than one Pokemon. But it looks like it's limited to only one. I am sure we'll be seeing people talk about how they're auto-battling and how Let's Go has killed a shiny Pokemon for them. So be careful. If you're shiny hunting, you know, maybe don't do auto-battling or else your Pokemon will just obliterate the wild Pokemon. The main point of the trailer um, was to show off the three big stories of the game because the game has, as, as it's been said before, three main stories. Two of these I expected, uh, the Pokemon League and the gym battles, that, that was one story. And then I expected there to be an evil team of the region, which we saw. Team Star. Team Star is the evil team, but looking at their introduction and looking at 
how they are dressed, they don't really seem that evil to me. They're described as bad troublemaking students. And if you look at their grunts, they, they don't even have like really cool team costumes like, you know, Team Rocket, Team Magma, Team Galactic even. They just have kind of like a messy uniform with star goggles and a motorbike helmet. They're a little plain to me. But, I will say, the first big antagonist that was revealed, Mela, she has a really good design. Mela is the boss of Team Star's fire crew. She looks sick. A very, very good design. Her boots, giant. I love them. Awesome boots. Her main Pokemon seems to be Torkoal. From, from the look of the trailer, but also it may be a bait. Maybe her main, her ace, will be something else. Um, and I'm going to take a wild guess here, and I'm going to say there's going to be five crews, probably, for you to defeat in Team Star. So you lose five points to a star, five crews, and then each crew will probably focus on one type of Pokemon. That's going to be my guess. Also, we saw that mysterious car that was in the second trailer for the game, and uh, that's where you see Mela. She's on top of the car. But if you look closely at the front of the car, it kind of looks like that engine block on the front of the car is a Pokemon. It looks like it has a big eye right in the middle. So maybe we'll get more information about that at a later time. The other story quest that I, I didn't expect, uh, I really didn't know what they were going to do with the third one, but it has you looking for the legendary Herba Mystica. And this seems to be some sort of like magical or mystical herb. And this is fine, you know, it, it's the traditional looking for something very special, fighting against the giant cool Pokemon. And I, I said earlier that the giant Pokemon boss fights, they, they reminded me of noble Pokemon from Legends Arceus. But I think I want to amend that. I want to add that maybe this feels kind of more like totem Pokemon from Sun and Moon. You know, the big boss battle Pokemon in different areas of the map. Um, I'm sure that, you know, if we get a water area, we'll have a giant water Pokemon. If we get an ice area, we'll get a giant ice Pokemon. If there's a volcano, we'll get a giant fire Pokemon. It's interesting, though. You know, it's a, it's a classic um, sort of adventure Pokemon sort of thing. I like it. I like it. It's not bad. So one of my favorite stories is, you know, gym battles, victory road. And this this seems pretty straightforward from, this, from what I've seen in the, the trailers that they've shown. It's one of my favorite parts of Pokemon, just dismantling gym leaders, showing them what's what. And we got a glimpse of the chairwoman for the Pokemon League, Gita. She has a nice design. I like her design. Um, I hope she's not evil. But uh, in the last game, the chairperson, Rose, he was evil. So we, she might be evil. She might be evil. We also caught a glimpse of the grass-type gym leader, Brassius. And... From the look of it, the gyms will have us completing some fun or puzzling tasks before we get to face the gym leader. Something that we've seen, I, I think, in the last three generations with Pokemon Sword, we had tasks at the gym. And Sun and Moon, I think you had to do some tasks before you face the gym leader. But I really hope we get to actually fight some trainers in the gym as well. There's, there's an amazing feeling in, you know, just wiping out an entire gym's trainers and then getting to the leader. The challenge that we saw from the grass type gym involved seeking out some flora. So hopefully this is a good challenge, hopefully it's fun and uh, we'll see how that goes. In the gym battle we see Brassius using a terastalized Pokemon. So this trailer shows us that gym leaders will use terastalizing on their Pokemon. Awesome, I love it. This is exactly the kind of stuff that I wanted. We get a grass type Sudowoodo. Too long has that rock Pokemon masqueraded as a tree, and now he finally reaches his dreams and becomes what he wants to be, a grass-type tree. Having gym leaders with off-type Pokemon, um, only to terrestrialize them into the type that they specialize in, that's a great idea. I love that. There's so many Pokemon that, you know, I think could kind of fit a gym leader, but they don't fit in the type perfectly, and terrestrializing really gives that opportunity to just choose a very strong Pokemon or a very, you know, underused Pokemon because of its typing that doesn't really fit anywhere and then have a gym leader use it in the battle. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is really pushing the idea of freedom. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. That's a quote. That's, that's an actual quote from the trailer. I love it. 
this is one of the best directions that Pokemon could have gone in for this generation of games. Sword and Shield got a lot of criticism for holding your hand through the whole game. Even Sun and Moon got that criticism as well. But it's looking like this new sense of freedom is going to make for a very special Pokemon adventure. So what do you think about the new Pokemon trailer? What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below, and until next time, see you later!